The question came up on setup tab as to how to apply endomorphs to an object that you have created in Lightwave in Messiah. So I'm going to show you how to do that. First I'll load up the object that was provided to me and we'll just go in and have a look at it. Looks like a like a lizard head. I'm going to press tab to get that into sub D mode. And setup I'm going to apply the Morph Blender effect. So I've applied that. So now I'm going to create, once I've got the Morph Blender effect applied, I'm going to create a new slider. In the slider block, here in Setup tab, there's cluster value and also endomorphs. So here it says endomorph object, and you pick the object and it will automatically fill these in with the um, morphs and order as they appear in the object but you can always go in and change that order if you wish so I'm going to put um, mouth open on the top and then browse down on the bottom now go back into here in the cluster value and you'll just want to turn off any that aren't being used just to keep the interface nice and clean to do that you just right click on these little balls so these are the four morphs that were included in the object. We can just widen that slider out to give you more precise control. And now here in Animate, you can do the mouth open and close. Of course, um, just like any morph, you can push it from, from here open and closed, but you can also go negative and pause, you know, more than 100% and less than zero and that's particularly helpful for more subtle morphs like this browse up and down if you were to just uh, leave it at that it wouldn't do a whole lot but if you crank it way up it, it does a whole bunch more so that's a kind of a neat tip but anyway that's how you uh, use endomorphs in Messiah and uh, hopefully you'll be able to continue on with your project and do lots of great things with this new knowledge